Files. Press start to begin. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Super Bonus Round. We are back with more Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name. I'm your host, John Mookie, where I jam. Don't as always my co-host, Jay, Jay Peanut. Hey, and you were talking about uh, expanding your palette. Uh, yeah. So, um, if you remember, uh, every couple of months or so with my uh, with my family, I like to do um, we 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 have like this like guys lunch thing that we do, and like just the other day, we went to round one because it was my turn to pick the place, and that was that was fun. Sure, none of my biological family went with me, but you know I got to hang out with more of my step family, and that guy fell down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, he's just gone now. Oh, um, right. All right, so John put in an edit of him going to the stairs and like have like a bunch of Hanna Barbera crash sounds on, as, as it focuses on him going down. <laughs> um. So next is my stepbrother's turn. He has picked a Korean hot pot place uh, near him. So uh, that I'm excited. I, I, I want to try that out. I was looking at their menu and uh. Don't waste food. That's all I have to say. Oh. Appar right apparently, if you waste if you waste food, you are, they have reserved the right to charge you a surcharge of thirteen dollars. <laughs> he just kept rolling. All right, put as much as legally as we're allowed to of Limb Biscuit's rolling as he rolls away. Rolling, 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 rolling. God, this is just a gold mine. Up, oh, more, more. If Yo, the drop kicks back. Uh, so it looks like some of my my sister Sally. Oh, you you looked into it. Yeah, I, I'm curious as to how it works. So, like, do you just like get a pot of whatever you want and just put it in and just eat from it? I think it's like a stew almost. Yeah, like they have a bunch of vegetables and meats and they fill it with broth. Yeah, and you can put it in whatever you want. Yotsudera mm -hmm. Kaikan. Those welfare thieves are keeping the homeless here. I'm going to sit trying Korean barbecue. Well, th the place that I'm going to has it as an option. Oh, nice. I'll report back when the episode we actually play is, uh, we go is uh, up. Hey, you can't just stroll in here. Otherwise, personnel only. Why do you sound like Joe Pesci? Yeah, sleepwalking gramps? I heard you're keeping homeless people in here. Is that what this whole floor is for? The hell? Yo, we got a lunatic over here. He's spouting bullshit. And do I look like I got dumb no way you blew it from, buddy? But the exit's that way. This room's locked from the outside. Is that because you got people caged up in there? Man, this guy's a pain in the ass. First election, dumbass. You're trying to get your face rearranged? What do I look like? Some kid playing Mr. Potato Head on Christmas morning? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the hell you doing? Oh. Oh. Even the air here is foul. Oh my god. Bastard. Think you can just do whatever the hell you want? Get ready for whooping. Own me a lion. You may as well call yourself the wet pandits because I'm going to make you piss yourselves in fear. <laughs> Now you've oh, done shit. it! Yeah. Might want to heal up soon. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck! You didn't get any healies! 
This is... Um... Uh, oh. Just... I, I did uh, an odd part. All that grinding and I didn't buy any items. They shot for help this time. Oh yeah, I remember something I uh, didn't say about that garbage thing. Personally, I think uh, Stephen Wright would have been a better fit. He has that deadpan, uh, low-energy, nihilistic uh, voice that would have fit the character better. But Austin, the general populace don't know who Stephen Wright is. They need a big old name to put their ass in a seat. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I remember one other guy said they should have gotten Nick Offerman instead. Nick Offerman? Yeah. Oh my god, that's brilliant! Why didn't they do that? I don't know, maybe they got the wrong part to my creation guy? Clearly! Oh, And I also thought I'd never hear Samuel L. Jackson being the voice of Garfield's dad ever. I didn't know Garfield had a dad. Yeah, they never mentioned him up until now. <laughs> oh, who the fuck are you? He's so scared he forgot he was a Joe Pesci impersonation. You've gathered quite a collection. You're never gonna get away with this. Know what family you're screwing with? The Omi line shall watch it. The very dregs of it, aren't you? Seems the Omi have fallen over hard times, collecting non-fungible homeless. Why else would you pull a scam like this? So what if your Omi thugs gonna go cry to your boss, gonna piss your pants, maybe shit and come? I'd be too ashamed to admit my family got their asses kicked by one man, even if you are small time. You've disgraced the reputation of the Omi Alliance. Kick up a fuss, and you'll be the one looking stupid. Who the hell are ya? Release all those people, and I just might forget what happened here. I'm saying this for your own sake, you know. Oh, damn it! Wow, well, amazing, Joe. You, you're the best. Akame, surprised you found the place. You just, I oh, just followed the smell. I figured you handle things pretty quickly. Plus, I could hear all the hollering from outside. Wait, who's this bitch? Really? You make your living playing on the homeless and you don't even recognize me? Figures, because you haven't done your homework. Shut it, lady! We've been happy day homeless, getting on beds and food and shit. The hell's wrong with that? Well, you be giving them one of those things. Uh? Everything's wrong here, duh. You're really sugarcoating it, you little cockroach. You think shoving people in a dump like this is helping? Don't even let them out for air. If it's so great, maybe y'all should try it. Quite the lecture from someone who made me do all the work. Also, I was waiting for a lapse to do my bit. I, I just followed the smell. What, the smell of the foul air? No, the piss didn't come. <laughs> oh my god. Now, cough up this stuff. Bank books, IDs, papers, hand them over. And I you want another taste of this guy's fist. Right, Joe Yi? Joe Yi? Yeah. 
You heard the lady. By the way, if you're new to our uh, Like a Dragon playthroughs, that's a bit that I've been doing since the very beginning. Seriously, yeah, don't show you. You're super tough. Thanks to you, a ton of innocent people are saved. Yeah, if only that were true. Huh? What do you mean? Don't act like you plan all this out of the kindness of your heart. You just want to use the homeless for your own ends instead, don't you? <laughs> no way, I'm not like that. I'm gonna make sure they get some actual support. Oh, really? Hey, buddy. You seem to be misunderstanding me, so let me lay it all out for you. Ain't no way in hell I'd ever take advantage of people like those welfare student black blackheads. I owe a lot to the homeless people this year, you know? I'm not some sustain who would stab them in the back. And a big part of why I started doing this kind of work was because I wanted to return the favor. Oh, she's probably homeless herself. The senior people who welcomed me in. I just want to help them out. Honestly, it's since it's ever... I wanted to hear them not it! You said you owe them. What exactly do you mean? Don't feel like telling ya. Maybe later if I get to know you better. That's so. Seems like the lack of trust is mutual then. I'll ask all the homeless people we saved today to join my network. That way I can strengthen my intel and better protect them from thugs like this. It's a win-win situation, get me? So this is how you manage to obtain the info you sell. Yep, and today was an especially good haul. Couldn't have done it without you, Joe Yu. Now I'll keep an eye at my end of the bargain and take the cash up. <sighs> Finally. Oh, but one more thing for I do. Well, Joe Yu, she knows how you're so tough and all. No. I got a favor to ask. Would you maybe help out again in the future? You want my help? Well, being a jack of all trades, I never turn down a job. But everyone's got strengths and weaknesses, you know? I mean, they can take out guys like that, but I could slash on a hundred times and get nowhere. It's not efficient. Because you don't go up and get scum like those thieves. It's practically charity work. Once I come finish what I came here for, I'm leaving Sotenbori. Oh, really? But I don't mind helping out while I'm still here. <laughs> wow, seriously? You're the best! Well, no point in being around the bus. Can you help me with some other stuff before you head to the castle? Hey, what are you trying to pull here? I know, I know, you're busy, right? But I got things to take care of, so we can't leave till tonight anyway. And we still got some time till then, so how about earn some money with me? Sound good? Now that does sound good. So long as it's only until tonight. Wow, awesome! Thank you so much! Alright, let me educate you on the job. This might be a bit long-winded, but you better not fall asleep, understand? Uh, Try to keep it short. Mm. Aw, come on. Don't be like that. Anyway, you know how I work as a jack-of-all-trades and an info broker? I wanted to say it earlier, but we were in the middle of a custom. It's like, I swear to Christ, if you put me in a cage match, I'm gonna take a bath with a toaster. <laughs> I like your help with what I call strolling patrol missions. Mm. Strolling patrol? Yep. To be honest, I'm a little worried about entrusting such a big job to a newbie like you. So, first off, I want you to start by offering your assistance to any town folk in need. If you do a good job, it will really help me boost my information network. Mm -hmm. How's all this supposed to strengthen your network? Same last thing I see homeless folks we rescued before. 
If you ask anyone who held out to contribute to the Akami network. A first rate informant has got to have enough eyes everywhere to ensure you don't miss a thing. I see. So the more people you can convince to participate, the more you level up as an information broker. You got it. We level up, our reputation expands, and eventually, we'll start getting some pretty big time requests for work. One of those important kind of tasks comes up in the future, I'll reach out to you directly, Choi Yu. Uh, got it. To start, I want you to help me out on a job till the Akami Network reaches level 3. Thanks to my information web, most of the people who need help should uh, be clearly met up. Let's take a peek at your support map and you'll see him right there. Now head off into town and, and start cracking. Wonderful pistachios. You mean skulls. Yes. <laughs> Overbearing as always, aren't you? As you increase your network level, Akami's information network expands and new requests may come in. In addition, special events with Akami most of, will, may also appear. The network level increases as you gain Akami points. By doing jobs with the Akami network, Akami points can be earned. Earned Akami points can be used to upgrade abilities or exchange for items in the Akami shop. Because spending your Akami points will not reduce the network level, feel free to spend the Akami points without worry. The Akami shop can be unlocked through the investment wall in Akami's office. In the city, there are people in need of Akame's network's help. If you speak to a person with that icon like the one on the left above their head, you'll be able to get more information about the request. When you complete the request, you'll receive Akame points and money as a reward. You can check locations to people in need through the support map. Support map shows problems currently occurring in the city's with location clients. After accepting a request, selecting on the list will allow you to leave you further details. So it's basically like the hero network from Like a Dragon. Mm -hmm. Well, since the entire franchise is called Like a Dragon now, we might as well call that one Yakuza 7. Oh, right outside our uh, front uh, door. Okay. Oh, old man having a terrible time. Interesting title. Young people these days always call up in their damn smartphones. You better pay for the battle you ruined by bumping into me, buddy. I ain't your buddy, you old fart. I ain't your fart. Wait, I don't think that's how this works. <laughs> Those damn smartphones. My Yaki Niku Bento is all I look forward to, and I got ruined by some punk who was too busy looking at his phone. He ain't even sorry about it, neither. Someone's gonna teach this whippersnapper some manners. Ah, you could have read that, but it's okay. Hey, didn't anyone ever tell you to respect your elders? Psh, well, you at the grandpa police? Street thugs. Oh, Jesus. He's spinning! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, you said I'm flying! Uh, did you see that? I did like a spin kick and I got him on the back end! Spin spinner. That's a sort of potential episode title. Pizza! Pizza! It's a pizza pie! Oh, oh, I just got an idea for an edit, John. While you're spinning around, play that off of pizza music from Spider-Man to the game. Hey! 50,000 yen out of that. Oh, this is a little kid who needs help with something. Where my favorite boy. Wait, it's are you gone. the same kid from Yokohama? Wait, I what the hell are you doing here, kid? Looks like his balls got stuck under the tree. Again? You get um, no money for this one. Um. Oh. It's the same fucking kid. Might as well grab it. Somebody who will save my ball. Here, I got your ball down for you. You really are a hero. You only get points to the network. No fucking money out of it. Getting oh. close to the level three, though. There's someone else over here. <laughs> My stomach. Any taste you can bring me a stamina and light? Looks like they're in a lot of pain. Maybe I should bring up a stamina and light. I think I have one. Uh, no, I do not. 
Can I give him a signal? No, I don't think you have any healies. At all. Popo is right up the street. Man, I miss when Kiryu did that whenever he drank health stuff. Because if he, if he doesn't do it in this game, it means that Young A is not going to do it. Oh, there's some free money. Oh, sweet dog. <laughs> the enemy. I love the slow mo of like, on his face. It's like, and that was at that moment that he realized he fucked up. <laughs> Welcome, Pepsi. Pepsi Nama. Oh, you know who probably has a stamina and light? The the pharmacy. Ah. But you know who also has a uh, brand deal with uh, like a Dragon Gaiden? Red Bull. While you were in the bathroom in between episodes, I saw a Red Bull ad. Oh my god, seriously? Yep. Alright. Shigano cigarettes. Wanpank clothier. Ebisu pawn. Oh, the pharmacy's up with the... Yeah, Suruha drugs. Yeah, let's just fucking walk. We need the Heelys, and we need to get that information network up. Wait, that guy dodged not from me, though. Mm. Alright, we, could, we, yeah. could, we could taxi it. Uh, take this with a grain of salt, but there are rumors running around that uh, uh, with the uh, MCU delays movies, they might uh, replace Kane with a different Marvel villain. If you're gonna do it, Kevin Feige. Feige, by the way. Doctor Doom. Yeah, that's what the rumors are saying, that uh, it's going to be Doctor Doom instead. I mean... Why wasn't that the plan from the first fucking place? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's as good as mine, like... I guess it right before they got the film rights back for Fantastic Four. You're right. Yeah, like, uh, Doom is another infamous big bad from uh, Marvel. I mean, it's not just Fantastic Four. He went up against Spider-Man and Doctor Strange, Iron Man. And he can't be easily killed. He's, he's incredibly fucking smart. Yeah, he's a scientist and a sorcerer. And, like, that steel armor he has is made of, like... It's not... I don't think it's vibranium. But it's, like, something else that's, like, really hard to penetrate. Yeah, like, he even has it with a piece of a cross that was used to kill, uh... An infamous vampire uh, that protects him from mind control as well. Okay, right, so good luck, Wanda, with that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. And in the comics, he even survived blows from Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet. Sort of Captain Marvel. He mm -hmm. he he punched her in the head. And she didn't flinch. Yeah. It wasn't until. Oh heck! I went and dropped my dang crawl down in the river. Gotta catch it fast or I'll get away. Don't tell me you dropped Nancy. It's like his crawfish scraped in the river. Maybe I should lend a hand. Catch that crawdad. I think you need the, uh, grab mechanic. There you go. I thought crawfish. we were gonna need a fish. I just catch the crawfish for you. Yeah, yes, mister. Thanks a bunch. And this should do it. No? Oh, one more. Well, at least you can get some cash in the meantime. Street puns. Oh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Wait. Ah, oh, you can't do it. Maybe Yakuza style can do it. There we go. Yeah, it's not, it's unbecoming of an agent. A Yakuza on the other hand.
Yeah. Us Neon think they should just slow down on how much they release over the years. Well, next year they're going to. We're only getting yeah, one movie. We're getting one movie in the literal middle of the year, and that's it. Yeah, because I think people are having to play catch up with the show between the movies and the shows. Uh, Oh, it's kind of been a problem. I think so. Le let me level with uh, with uh, the morons who think that the Marvels is bad because it was woke. First of all, you deserve to have your brain removed from your skull if you if you unironically use that word to describe things you don't like. <laughs> Second of all, the the reason the Marvels flopped it is not a simple reason. It is a myriad of factors. Number one, like Austin just said, having to play catch up with shows. Two of the main stars were introduced. And a, uh, a streaming show, uh, two different streaming shows. Number two, and this is the big one you guys are failing to realize. We just got out of the SAG after strike. We like we yeah. we got out of it when the movie was coming out. So that that is months of promo that they they could not do. Like the studios yeah, had to promote it all on their own. The actors couldn't do shit, and neither could the writers. And because of that, I think they have uh, trying to play catch-up in promotion now. You know what? That might have been why Miss Marvel was put on a uh, uh, ABC Family uh, back in June. But they should have done the same thing for WandaVision too, like like promote it with like a t TV net or something. But like they didn't, they failed to do that, and that's why. You, advertising is like a major part of uh, how how films do well. You got you got you all got to remember that. Definitely. And to be perfectly honest with you, I've watched the movie that night that came out. The name that came out, it was not that bad. I'm not gonna call it the best of the MCU, but it's it was a breath of fresh air. They can't, yeah, they can't get any worse than Thor: Dark World. That's for sure. Thor: Dark World is the lowest it's ever gonna be. Like definitely, that is that is the most boring film in the entire. Like it's boring, and I I don't care for Love and Thunder very much either. It was okay. Damn! I preferred Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, Ragnarok still had a good balance between plot and jokes, but they kind of went overboard on the jokes in uh, Love and Thunder. Especially with the goats. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, remember that one video of a goat streaming that was funny in 2012? You want to hear it five mm -hmm. more times? I did like the idea of the villain just wanting to uh, get God uh, kill all the gods out of vengeance of his God betraying him. Yeah, that 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 uh, arc made sense. That was like the most uh, that was the most I ever felt for a villain in the Marvel thing in forever. I I will say this: the Marvel's villain sucks shit. But. Villain sucking shit in the MCU is not fucking new, but the the one in the Marvels sucks shit. The arc behind what they were doing was like, okay, that's interesting. The character themselves suck shit. Um, let's see, yeah, the only the only more recent villain that really left an impact was, of course, uh, fuck, I already forgot the name. The guy we were just talking about. Uh, no, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, uh, the, uh, High Revolutionary. Yeah, that, that the, high, name, the right? High Evolutionary, you were close, though. Yeah, he was, he was a great villain. Like, what a, what a, what a miserable bastard that guy is. Definitely. Like, absolutely cruel. You're alright? Here's the salmon and light you wanted. Oh, wow, you really saved me. My summer cake is no match for the power of stamina and light. That, that's her texting, you want, if you want to read that. Oh, Akame! Oh, nice work. Good work out there, Choyu. Akame here. Oh, you've been working your ass off lately. Really doing a lot for the network. That's just what I was hoping for. I got some more stuff I want to ask you to do, so... You come see me at the office. I'll be waiting. We're like right outside. <laughs> I did that one last intentionally. And, 
Great work out there, Joyu. Looks like you're getting used to the whole patrol thing. It'll really help me out if you keep going around lending a hand to those in need and ramping up the levels in the economy network. Right, I'll do just that. Also, thanks to your patrol effort, seems like I had the town to know that you're with me. From heading out, out wherever you go and do any activity that might draw attention out of the town, that end up being free advertising for the Akami network. She said here on, by the way. Oh. What do you mean by attention? I just learned right now that it's all one word. I always thought it was two words. Like going balls out on food or playing some games. All sorts of stuff. You also, go, that, also, also going balls out. <laughs> you do now really put a smile on the store owners and townsfolk. And I'm not just talking when you get your balls out. Not so. Though I'd rather not stick out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be like that. I'll be keeping tabs on your activity log if you get me. Especially if you got your balls out. <laughs> <laughs> when Jory does something note around town, it serves a promotion from the Comedy Network. So fight, play, and eat your heart's content. Spread the name of the Comedy Network far and wide. Upon completing a particular activity, you'll receive a Comedy Points as a reward. Mm. Anyway, change these subjects and all, but I got something urgent I want to ask you. Think you can handle it? Something urgent? Like what? I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, come on. It ain't bad. Just look over the request for me, would ya? About requests. Requests are jobs that are received directly from a commander office. As a reward, you'll receive lots of economy points and money. After increasing the economy network's level and experiencing uh, completing certain quests, new jobs may unlock. Requests can be reviewed by selecting a common network from the pause menu. So check back frequently. 10,000 yen is a reward for this one? Oh, damn. Long story short, I need you to hit up a cabaret club. By the way, you going, oh, damn, reminded me of something very, very sad. Omegle just recently shut down after 14 uh... years. So RIP to the Omegle Kermit meme. Oh, I hope he finds a different uh, chat surface to uh, show his pitch, show people his Kermit pickle. Yeah. Oh, didn't expect that. <laughs> yep, new place called Club Heavenly opened up nearby. They call it a real immersive cabaret club. Immersive? What's that supposed to mean? Psst, beats me. I think that's what the client wants us to find out, though. They got a deadline for a magazine article coming up and need someone to get over there too sweet and report back. First I go myself, but... Why do that when I got a secret perv who knows all there is to know about cabaret clubs? That's you, by the way, Joyu Shen. Secret perv? Me? No, I guess I do have some experience with cabaret clubs. See? I knew you were the guy for the job. You should get Majima. He ran like two. So, go have yourself some fun and fill me in about it after, yeah? Well, then again, Kiryu, if you do the side stories, he's ran countless. Mm-hmm. Right. I'll try. Investigate the immersive cabaret club. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious, and it might make for a nice change of pace. I think I'll pop by this new club. But what do you say we pop on by? Next time on the Super Bonus Round? Yep. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll pop off at the Decabria Club next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye.